Hello? Yeah. Bob Robertson again. Uh, that's good. Question. Can you uh, give me some reassurances about St. Margaret's Road? Um, the problem with St. Margaret's Road, as we well know, is a rough run from Croft Road and Marlborough Road. Then we've got all the residents' cars, which you asked me how could, I, how could I solve it. I could not give you the first clue. If you shut the road, I've heard the council wants to close St. Margaret's Road off which would be a disaster for the residents and put much pressure on the bridge, fire engines and all the rest of it. I've heard a rumour that the coal yard could be uh, <coughs> obtained but put an access road into St. Margaret's Road, which would be the absolute answer. Are there any plans in that? <coughs> Are there any plans in that respect? Or can you give us some uh, light on this situation? I suspect that's probably a yes, yes, no, or don't know answer, isn't it? <coughs> Okay, I think I've got the short straw here. Um, yes, on, on the coal yard, yes, I understand that there is a, uh, a development being uh, looked at there, but there are no plans, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, about connecting uh, a through road through to St Margaret's. And it is not the council wanting to um, uh, close St Margaret's. This has been a, an ongoing discussion with residents in Winifred, Evelyn, um, and where you know perhaps 50% want it closed, the other 50% don't. It's something we've all got to face and I'm sure we'll have a question um, again uh, very shortly. Sure. There's nothing to settle at all. No. Okay. Do you have any further comments from, from your party? All right. okay. Yes, just to say that uh, you know, I have stood in this ward since 2006. I've been totally honest with my answers. I know uh, with the Croft we have got some difficulty because we disagree. Uh, but I've always been totally honest. I said all along in the literature that we sent out that, that we were for the Croft, but we wanted to be assured that the highway uh, issues were resolved. Um, we have professional officers to do that. I don't claim to be a highway expert. Uh, when you get in this position, you have to rely on those um, professionals. That is why there was cross-party support for that planning application. And it doesn't matter what we say on the platform. If we're really honest, we would have been in the same situation had I uh, or any of these guys been on the planning committee at the time. So we will continue to be honest. We will put 100% into the work we do. We will deliver and keep on delivering for Old Town. So thanks very much. We hope you'll support us. <laughs> My summary. I work um, in Old Town with the Salvation Army in Devices Road, so I'm very much part of the community here already, although I live in Gorse Hill. My summary, yes, I would be honest, but that's easy to say. I would um, be able to show you my track record on being honest with those who lived in my area in North Yorkshire. I firmly believe, firmly believe that the only way in which we as ward councillors can actually do our job properly <coughs> is if we talk to you. And not just talk at you, but talk with you. And then take your views back. I will say to you that even if I didn't agree with a particular issue, it would be my responsibility to listen, to take your message back, but I would make it clear to you why I was not um, particularly in favour of a particular thing. You would know my views. Thank you very much. Right. Bill? Well, you mentioned the question of, of rat runs and use of cars and goodness knows what. Well, I mean, I de in an ideal society, you'd have less car use, better pu public transport, lo local... Oh, good, it's the same all over the country. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I think the Greens are... Uh, I mean, different continent, like Switzerland, Holland, Germany, and so on, they are trying to seriously tackle these problems with, with their sane urban planning so that you don't have to have to rely on something that goes to car, but... Anyway, I agree with you, St. Margaret is, is, is a great problem. Uh, on a summation on that, um, uh, we've probably seen, well, not, it's not a secret, but, but uh, you know, there's one party state we have in Sweden, it, it is a problem, and of course it's a problem nationally, and of course ideally we, we need 
proper proportional representation so that uh, you, you know you don't have this uh, one-party state uh, syndrome. So Green Greens are in favour, not just an alternative vote, but proper proportional representation like they have in Germany and France and so on. Uh, and uh, as a really, even though you know, we're a small party, so I think I, mean, I'm a, I think we need much more uh, wider spread of opinion in, in local government and national government. You know, I think we should have more independents, Greens, you know, right wingers, if you like, Liberals, Tories, Labour. Yes. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, very quickly, please. Can we just have quick, quick words? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> One of our questionnaires was saying that. Uh, you know, the council has been conservative for a long time, and why does everybody just pick a, a conservative councillor? Um, well, you know, it's up to the electorate to, to have that diversity within the council. We are UKIP with a new politics. Uh, we've got policies that are uh, community related in terms of the referenda and so listening to the local, local people. But it's up to the electorate to, to realise that not just to put their X against a Conservative or a Labour or a Liberal Democrat candidate, but to put it against the new, uh, the new politics of the U UK. Um, we, are, we are now gaining momentum within the country. Uh, people, like yourselves, are now realising that UK uh, are not a loony party or anything of that nature, but we have real policies and we have real um, agenda. And we, we, we know that People are coming round to our way of thinking now, and uh, let's hope that we can actually make an impact on the local scene as well by by putting your ex against a UK per person. Thank you. Uh, Saint Margaret's Road and the redevelopment. Um, I don't know enough about what you're talking about um, the, the development areas to have a. Uh, make a value, value comment there. But I'd certainly like to um, have a chat with you afterwards. I think the issue of rat runs and speeding cars is an issue throughout the town and it's something that we need to look at. Um, there's been a lot of talk about localism. Um, I think localism is what we believe in, what the Labour Party um, has been working at for, for years really. It's, it's nothing new. It's about community involvement, it's about listening to people, it's about involving people in their community. Um, yes, there will be difficult decisions and sometimes we may have to say no, uh, as has already been pointed out. But if we do have to say no, we will explain why we said no and the reasons for making our decisions. Um, and what we, our contract with you is that we'll listen to you and have a dialogue with you. Okay, guys, um, I'm sorry we're talking across Toby here because um, we, I know that people are sort of fidgeting because we've taken a lot longer than we said. I really appreciate all these candidates, um, whether they're councillors or not, for giving up their personal time. Even the councillors are giving up their own personal time to be here. And we really appreciate that. And it can never be easy standing there in front of public questions. I really hope that they're all able to stay around, as they said, until one o'clock to be able to talk to you, have a cup of tea, and you'll have to be able to catch up with any questions which you weren't able to ask from the floor. I want to apologise to everybody because it seems as though we probably had about another two hours worth of questions. Everybody had lots of things they wanted to ask, and we all like, would like them asked in public and answered in public. And I hope there will be the opportunity in future for that to happen. So thank you very much, everybody, and um, please come and get a cup of tea. Thank you. 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 Thank you.